Hi folks, welcome to the Neptune Staircase in Scotland. Nandito pa rin tayo sa part ng Fort William. And if you can see there, that one right there, na covered na siya ng uh, thick clouds. That's where the Ben Nevis is. And itong Neptune Staircase, guys, it's been named uh, because this is a series of locks, eight of them, that will bring a, bo a boat from the main lock. And gusto ko lang i-mention na yung lock is a Scottish term for a lake. And the lake here, or the lock, is a saltwater lock. And for the boat to come up here, there is a series of locks right there. Let's see, because it's getting darker. There you go. So, yung lock na yan, uh, if you're coming from the, the lower side, this bit here, it will be filled with water, bringing um, the boat into a higher elevation. And that lock there, it will open for it to climb to another set of locks until it reaches to the canal, uh, the Caledonian the Caledonia canal. canal, to the other side mm. of the highlands. So up to Inverness, up through Loch Ness. So let's go ahead and look around. So those, I know, yung ano po, yung lock po niya is uh, used to be uh, operated manually. So, okay, meron siyang parang lever na kailangan mong buksan now. Uh, it's operated with a hydraulic system. So there's a boat coming through. So if you, I'll show you. So that's the level of water there. And the next one is filled up so that the boat will go through here. So, ayan, uh, mas mababa ang tubig doon compared sa tubig dito. At pagdating ng boat dito, bubuksan yan. So, para bumaba ang tubig at maging level doon sa, sa next na lot. So, let's have a look. Kasi meron atang boat na pababa guys and papunta doon sa main, sa main lake or sa lock. So looking through there, mukhang uh, it clears up a bit. That's, that's where Ben Nevis is. And uh, the gorge where we've shown you is right there. And now the locks is opening up. Dahil my boat na dadaan. So this is a, this has been constructed by Thomas Telford in 1803 to 1822. At uh, imagine kung gaano kahirap ang construction ito ng mga times na yon na wala pang masyadong um, high-tech uh, equipments. It took them 19 years to complete it. And a massive amount of labor. So, nagbubukas na yung gate unlocked. Para padaanin ang isang boat. There you go. So 
So, antayin lang natin guys na makadaan yung boat nila. Okay. Yes. We want to be down there when the next one is just up there in the water and it bubbles up. Just oh, right. Once it's through and that gate's closed. Okay, yeah, I'll have a look in that too. Thank you. That's it just moving through, but that's the one where you see all the water that other things suddenly start to bubble. Right. Eight locks all together. Huh? Eight locks. I don't the know. Road, the, road, the road opens to let me by, and there's one just before the boat. Eight, ten, I think she said. Okay. So there's a boat going through, folks. At the lock, yeah, Imagine kung meron ganito sa Pilipinas, mapakaganda siguro. Used to be, uh, ito'y gamit nila to transport uh, goods. Ngayon ay, it's a way na lang siya na yung mga tourists na may boat ay makapunta from one point to the other sa country nang hindi nila kailangan maglayag ng malayo. Kasi parang ito ay isang shortcut. So, ayan na siya. Imo-moored mo na siya dyan kasi bubuksan yung isang lock there. And then, by the way folks, this is going down to the lake from a canal. If you go up to the canal, that should be on the other end where the bridge is. So let's say guys, yung kanina na nakabukas, it's, it's closing now to confine the water. And it's operated by a hydraulic system. And there's the operator there. So that's it, that's closed. The next thing he's going to do is open the other side. It's an engineering marvel. You go, uh, the top of it never seems to show up now. At uh, yung makikita nyo dyan guys, it's a hydroelectric power plant as well, right, right there. Um, pinapump nila yung water from up there to create electricity. So marami talagang tourists dito sa Fort William dahil sa marami niyang attraction. So anyway, as mentioned earlier, itong canal na to is called the Caledonian Canal. Goes from here in Fort William all the way to Inverness and to the other side of the country. So I show this to you as well, Ayana. Nire release nila ang water para bumaba at maging level doon sa kabila. There you go. That's releasing the water. Oops, starting to go down. And this yeah. is starting to come up.
Kasi yung tubig tumataas na guys. Yan. So ganun yan lang, ganun lang yung principles niya. Uh, lock one part, open it so that the boat can get through. Ayan. So the other side, unti unting bumababa in too big. Kasi nire-release siya sa other side so that the wall become level of the spotted shadow. Engineering model. So yung makikita niyo folks yung level ng tubig sa gilid. Ayan. Bumababaan siya. At uh, ang tubig sa next uh, lock is tumataas. So too. Anyway, folks, it's opening now. So it's slowly opening up. Kasi yung two big at sa it. From the one lock to the other is magkalabil na sila, so pwede nang magpas through yung boat. So yung guys is operated by a hydraulic system. <laughs> a little girl is getting to operate the lock. That's good. That's a good experience for her. But right, the canal, not the guys, can only um, cater as to a certain size of boats. Cruise ships could not get through here. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think we've seen uh, fish boats is, pass up through. This here. is a smaller version of the Panama Canal. Get some fish in the books and that, but they pass all through. Mm. Well, I suppose there's a, uh, a certain gross, gross tonnage limit. Maybe. I think, I think at one time, I'm not sure, there might have been uh, so, naval ships. So, yeah, po folks, and you can see this in you. Uh, this is Yolo reporting here all the way from the Neptune staircase. Thank you for watching. And please do subscribe to my channel. Ciao for now.